Imagine you're a brakeman in the late 1800s, balancing on a moving train, desperately turning brake wheels to stop before disaster strikes. Now, fast forward to today. Think about the driver of an 18-wheeler, descending a mountain road with 40 tons of cargo. How do they safely stop these mechanical giants? Enter one of the greatest safety innovations in history, the air braking system. Whether it's saving lives on highways or bringing trains to a halt, air brakes are vital to modern transportation. But how do they actually work? Let's take a deep dive into the incredible design behind air brakes. Before air brakes, stopping a train was life or death. Brakemen would run across the tops of moving cars, manually turning brake wheels, dangerous, inefficient, and often deadly. Early trucks had their own problems, relying on weak mechanical brakes that could barely stop under heavy loads. Enter George Westinghouse. In 1869, he invented the air brake, revolutionizing safety for trains. The idea? Use compressed air to apply the brakes across the entire train simultaneously, removing the need for human strength or mechanical levers. This brilliant system soon expanded to trucks and heavy vehicles, creating the backbone of modern braking technology. Let's break it down. In trains, the air brake system begins with an air compressor located on the locomotive, pushing pressurized air into a reservoir. This air travels through a brake pipe that connects to each car. Every car has its own brake cylinder and the secret hero, the triple valve. When the engineer pulls the brake lever, the triple valve springs into action, directing air into the brake cylinders. This applies equal force to every wheel across the train. What makes this system even more impressive is its fail-safe design. If there's a pressure drop, say from a leak, the brakes automatically engage, ensuring the train stops even in an emergency. For trucks, the principle is similar but simpler. An engine-driven compressor generates pressurized air, which is stored in reservoirs. When the driver steps on the brake, air flows into the brake chambers, pushing the diaphragm and forcing the brake shoes against the brake drum. This slows the truck with the same powerful force seen in trains. Just like trains, truck air brakes are designed with safety in mind. If air pressure drops, spring-loaded brakes engage, ensuring the vehicle doesn't lose control. And with dual-circuit systems, even if one part of the system fails, the other keeps the brakes operational, giving drivers extra protection. So, why are air brakes superior? Hydraulic brakes common in cars can overheat and fail under extreme conditions. Mechanical brakes, used in the early days of railroads and trucks, simply couldn't provide enough stopping power for heavy vehicles. Air brakes, however, apply uniform braking force across all wheels or train cars, handling immense weight and distance. This consistency and reliability make air brakes the go-to system for large vehicles. While the basics of air brakes haven't changed much since Westinghouse's invention, modern innovations like anti-lock braking systems, ABS, have pushed safety even further. ABS prevents wheels from locking up, giving drivers and engineers full control during emergency stops, especially in slippery conditions. Today's systems also use advanced electronic controls to monitor air pressure and brake temperatures, providing real-time diagnostics to prevent accidents before they happen. No system is perfect from the start. Early air brake designs were prone to pressure leaks and mechanical failures, which led to tragic accidents. But each failure was a lesson that made today's systems stronger and safer. Today, maintaining air brakes is crucial. A small leak can render the entire system useless. Regular inspections are required to keep these giants safely on the move. Imagine the chaos if air brakes didn't exist. Trucks speeding out of control down mountain roads. Trains unable to stop on time. It's terrifying. 
Air brakes have revolutionized transportation safety, allowing these heavy giants to move tons of cargo without disaster. Thanks to air brakes, the world's logistics and transport industries can operate safely and efficiently, saving countless lives every day. As we move into the future, air brake systems are evolving. AI-powered systems can now adjust braking force based on real-time traffic, road conditions, and cargo weight. Soon, self-driving trucks and trains will use these advanced systems to ensure safety without human intervention. George Westinghouse's revolutionary design laid the foundation for this bright future, one where air brakes continue to save lives in ways even he couldn't have imagined. From their humble beginnings in the 1800s to the cutting-edge systems of today, air brakes have been an essential part of transportation safety. What started as a mechanical solution to a critical problem has become one of the most reliable technologies in the world, continuing to evolve and protect lives every day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more episodes. Thanks for watching.